I feel like one day I'm going to be in New York City going to his Michelin restaurant. The best to hang out with would probably be Ben. Ben's just a lot of fun. And he's got that great accent. Bright, very bright guy. Oh, that's easy. Matt, I would prefer to work with because no drama. And Ben is the best to hang out with because he's super fun and crazy. But that's not always a great thing to work with. A uh, best chef? Wow. I would have to say right now, Adrian. So this is a roasted chicken breast on a bed of pearl couscous, arugula salad with a lemon ranch. Enjoy. Nice. nice. Thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, spectacular. The spinach is so good. This is great. But it's a, it's a real close toss-up between him and Ben. Adrian's demeanor in the galley is a little more laid back and not quite so intense. You don't have to, like, walk on eggshells around Adrian. He just kind of rolls with it. Ben was a little bit more temperamental. That tuna's f I don't want to serve it anymore. It's just, it's f But as far as their technical abilities, gosh, that's tough. They're probably both really, really close. Matt had the talent, but I just couldn't get Matt out of his shell. I couldn't get him to perform up to the level that I know he could. The best chef is Adrian. Adrian, I've never worked with a chef this talented. He's unbelievable and he's so young that I feel like one day I'm going to be in New York City going to his Michelin restaurant. I'd be like, remember when you were on that little show with me? He's going to be a big deal.